Love. Open Wider. point to Timo Ball. I watched a bit of uh, Yuki Yaida recently in uh, Japan. It didn't end his uh, time there so well. Lost his last three matches. He has faced Why? Team of Ball before. We'll uh, talk about that in a while. But what are his strengths for you, Adam? Yuki Oh, Timo? Yeah. Pshew. Grab a seat. I mean, Timo Ball. Oh. reads the game so well. He knows how to take away what you want. He can see what you want and what'll make you uncomfortable and he just puts the ball where you don't want it. He's got incredible Three, feeling. Two. He improvises well, his timing is early. This is a big part of the reason that he's been effective against the Chinese for decades. A lot of Europeans step back from the table, take the ball a little bit later. Let. Part Three, of that could be because two. of physicality taller you are, longer your strokes take, a little bit more space you need in general. Wonderful Two, win of that from four. Yukiya Uda. Three, four. And the one time that they have played was in 2019. That was at the Czech Open. T-Mobile won that in four straight games. Four, oh. Just to give a few positives on Yukiya Uda, beating, I think, Harimoto in the final a few years ago for the mm. national championship. I mean, he was the Japan national championship, yeah. or champion. Yeah, no mean feat that, right? Five, beating four. Harimoto. Right, he's very smooth. Uh, one of my favorite matches for Uda was actually against Quadri Aruna, but in this rally here, he stays on top of the bounce. I think Timo might have been ready for a hand switch had the ball come deep to the backhand side. Five. Nicely done there oh. by Bolt. Now, Timo has a little bit of a tradition. It sounds weird to say because obviously he's not trying to drop games, but I've seen him play a lot of players losing the first game, and then it's sort of like this... Okay, now I understand. And then you never win another game. Six, like five. he was willing to sacrifice the first game just to test the waters and does see that, how you handle different things. Does that lull the opponent into a false sense of security? Sure could. I guess the bigger Six, question would be, is it four. worth the cost? Mm. And in a best of five, It does go to best seven, of seven six, from the semifinals onwards. Six, hmm. eight. Timo just sort of fishing around there, wiggling the ball around in the push game. Nothing too aggressive just yet. Quality opening shot here from Yuki Uda. Very physically fit, very fast. Four. Couple Six, of good points there for Yuki Uda. Yeah, he's getting in quick in the rallies. He's making a very clear intentional shot on his opening and then following it up, not letting off the pressure of the steam at all. Ten. Six. That's up. Uh, Gain points now for Uda. Four of them. One save seven, from Bolt. Ten, seven. Not played the way he's played so far. Taking a few backhands here, getting into a counter loop exchange to save a game point. Two down. Eight, ten. Result that would have been. Does put that away, Yukiya Uda, first and takes the first Uda. game. 
Uses basically, that. yeah, bouncing it back and letting him spend his energy first. Right. One. So I'm no. interested to see how this second game goes after what you've been telling us from Timo Ball. Oh yeah, don't go anywhere. A few quick no. backhands <laughs> here out of nowhere. Two in a row. Good start here for Timo Ball. One, two. Good use of the third ball here. Yukio Uda shutting down a receive that could have otherwise been quite tricky for many players to attack. Two. Reminded that he had a oh. tough game, a tough match against Gustavo Suboy, winning 3 2 to get to this round. And Yukio Uda, much more straightforward victory over uh, Liao Dengting. Liao Chengting, rather. Three. Two. Winning in straight games. Yeah, both players here so far have used the serve very wisely to create the opening they want. Two. I mean, it's been four. serve, third ball attack almost every third point, point, and the server has always won. Three, Clever play four. here from Uda, keeping it short when Timo might expect a longer push. He drops it short one more time. That's exactly what I was Five, thinking. But <laughs> I mean, that's easy to say, of course. But I was just <laughs> thinking, can you play a slow top spin and receive? It's not going to be easy. If you get aggressive, Yukia Uda's in the rhythm. He'll counter it back but he slowed it way down and left it shallow as well. No, that, six, that's, uh, three. Uda. that right there though, a slow, shallow topspin receive is not even an option for most players. Mm. That's one of the magics of Timo Bowl. Yes, I three, pluralized magic. Seven. Yeah, I was gonna say magics. Yeah, great word. It's new, yeah, you're welcome. Four points now in front, Timo Bolt. Good Four, placement here. Seven. Uda jamming up Timo in the backhand corner. It was a race. One of those, I'm going to take the forehand here. And Uda says you can, but it's going to be uncomfortable. Seven, five. He played injured. Played injured. Eight, five. I think two years before he actually had to back out due to the fever, despite having the best draw of his life. Yeah, hasn't won five, a medal of any nine. Of, uh, gold of any sort at the uh, World Championships. Lot six silvers, three bronzes. Uh, those world champs. Team Six, events, doubles events. Nine. Finished third in 2021 recently. Team of Bolt. Nine, seven. Just two points in it now. Watch how quickly Yukia Uda turns for this forehand. Very nice. Gets low, wide base for that. And Timo was setting up for the cross court. Surprise placement from Uda. Oh, lovely, lovely from Nine, Uda. Eight. Timeout on Timo's side. I mean, that, Time in out. all fairness, you're right. So back from the timeout, Timo now, second serve. Five. He's drawn level, Nine. Uda. Oh. Very nicely done. Bit out of character, bit extraordinary, maybe. Five. Well, Uda Ten. has moved into Nine. game point. Really good little period for him. Point ball. Oh. Not easy to find that place on the table. Timo with a long push to the deep backhand corner. 
Just thinking to myself, this still isn't over, but not so many young players, especially outside of China, are able to pull off an upset over Timo. I think Lin Lin Ru, Tomo Kazu. Great that, winner. 10, yes. 11. I mean, he turned the corner on this one, and the obvious place to go would have been cross court, but he hits it to the short side. Nice serve to set it up. Not an easy ball to play. Look where he has to lean. Almost runs into the umpire's chair for that ball. Game point enough for Bolt. And he takes game two. 12, 10. It's one all. In to ball. Lost one. Let lost one. Just created that room for himself, didn't he? Two. Team of ball. No. He sure did, and he took his shot in a way where he'd be able to quickly move to cover the wide forehand if he needed, but could also play a forehand again from the middle. Nice balanced position. Two. Smart placement One. here as Yukiya Uda plays it down the line, causing some trouble, surprising Timo a bit. Unlucky, unlucky Ooh. for Bolt. Great oh. stuff. From behind the table, it's going to be very difficult. Yukiya Uda's fast, young, and strong. And in general, you don't want to sacrifice space near the table. Two in a row there for Uda. Ooh. He goes in front. I'm waiting for Timo to put his arms out in a T shape. He does that sometimes to get some extra air, stretch out the lower back. A little bit off the top of the net, but a Three. good exchange here for Timo. Oh. He He's brought, hot. sorry, excuse me, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, it's okay, he brought back the headband. Oh. He's had that history Four. of back problems, hasn't he? Three. Yeah, I guess he's had a fair amount of issues. I don't remember the details, but not just that. I think, yeah, he's had a few physical issues over the years, but he's recovered quite well. Four, oh. Yeah, a number of long rallies between these two, or long-ish rallies. Five, four. Yeah, didn't look happy with himself there. Yeah, good heavy underspin serve on that pendulum. And Timo, not sure. He he, I think he's questioning his reading of the ball right now. He stretched out the eyes a little bit, looked up at the lights. Four, six. Now, this might sound weird to say, but that's never stopped me before. I think Timo right now is just in a passive position, and because Yukio Uda is being so creative about his placement and so powerful in his shots, Timo is going to have to initiate or shut down the attack early. Let Four, six. Could be shorter serves. It could be more surprises and shorter rallies. Let four, six. Oh, four, wonderful. Seven. Forehand there from Yukiya Uda. Yeah, Yukiya Uda is really taking advantage. Smart spin shot gets a popped up ball, and after that, it's just a free space on the bingo card. Look at how much leg he gets into that. His body is low. It's like he's sitting in a chair the whole time. Let, four, seven. <laughs> Bravo. Just blows the face at me. Lovely from yeah. Uda. Big deep blocks, top five. spin right at the baseline, making it a little bit more challenging, not giving Uda a chance to really recover or such a clean next shot. Oh, 
Two in a row for Bolt. Trying to claw back that deficit. Smart play to go back down the line. To get into the rally here. And he sends it right back behind the body weight as Yukio Udo is moving to the middle of the table. A lot of table to aim at there no. for Yukio Uda. Yeah, he took the feet out from under Timo, tripped him up here as he sends him deep to the backhand, says, well, you can play a backhand, but it's going to be uncomfortable, and Timo just not able to rebalance himself after taking the forehand. Left, six, nine. Ten, six. Game points, four of them for Yuki Aura. At this point, it's very tough. Timo's got an excellent backhand, but after every backhand, he found himself just a little bit farther, farther behind back. the table. Yeah. Just took the pace off, didn't he? Beautifully. Seven. Timo Ball. Wow. I mean, that was like peeling a wrapper off of the ball. He just sideswiped it so much. It's loaded with spin. What a dangerous shot. So awkward. But really good disguise on it, right? Mm-hmm. That's pretty helpful, isn't it? Well, go out there and play better. Play better. Patrick Franziska style. <laughs> Oh, lovely, man. lovely from Paul. Ten. He was trapped. He was pinned. He was behind the table. He had the whole table open, and he looks to see Yuki Aouda start to turn, and that's when he punishes him, sprays it out the other way, and escapes narrowly still. One game point left for Yuki Aouda. Oh. Remarkable from Timo Paul. He's oh. saved four game points, and he's drawn level. This short, low pendulum serve to the forehand gets a passive receive. What a handcuffing serve. What can you really comfortably do to that ball? The way Yukio Uda has been playing so far. Again, surprise. Yeah, wow. Ten. Timo Ball has gone in front. He's on game point. That's five in a row from him. What did he do with his feet on that? It was like a shuffle step. A dance move from Timo to surprise and play it down the line. He has Kyle, turned this around ten, absolutely game, magnificently. Team up all. So look, it sets aside Love beautifully, it. doesn't it? In game four. Yuki Uda will be kicking himself though with his four game points that he squandered. This is sport. The brilliance of Team up all in that last oh. game. And you know, he'll have that momentum coming into this one. It's funny, Why? Timo Bolo is often on the uh, coming back end of comebacks. But I do recall, I want to say China Open, maybe 2016, 17 maybe, against Dima. I think he had 10-6 in the decider. And Dima came back to win against Timo. So everybody's paid their dues. Deep on the table, Three, catching a little bit of two. edge. Again, just acknowledging that very clearly. Ah. Tongue out there and a few steps to get around that. You can see the quads and the muscles. As Timo worked to get himself in position for that forehand. Seems so stress-free relative to others. Nice winner Three, there from Yukia Uda. Trying to fight back here. Yeah, that was very impressive. It looked like he might push until the last moment when he went for the attack. Let tree it's funny, the assistant umpire's hand every once in a while, it's like you forget they're there and then a hand pops up from the <laughs> bottom of the screen. Oh. 
Perfect placement here from Uda, right into the crossover point in that backhand corner. He's battled back to level things here. Crucial fourth game. He has to win this, of course, to stay in this match. Yukiya Uda. Just out of the reach of Timo Ball. Five. I felt like Timo was extending the racket to the fingertips to try to get any extra centimeters on this for reach. On the back end there, Yukiya Uda. Now he goes two ahead. Yeah, this receive is so strong. Timo is constantly testing out different parts of the table. A little bit of surprise as if to say, huh, he shouldn't be able to do that. Got to make a few minor changes. Good point Six, there for Bolt. Five. Yeah, very clever. He comes in to show soft touch, like he's going to push it by dropping it short, and then he pushes it long. The way he comes in there, it's very deceptive. And that's what sets him up with the attack. Go, go. Two Six, important points four. for Timo Ball. How loose is he able to make the uh, make the rope that he's hanging from? Got it. Six. I meant that more in a rock climbing sort of way, by the way. <laughs> I realize that might have sounded slightly darker than intended. <laughs> free solo, except the ropes that someone would use if they weren't free soloing. Let I realize free solo is basically Six. about not using Seven. any ropes. So yes, <laughs> I'm just picking from the wrong basket right now. Timo Bull down by one. Lusty blows from both Seven. players, oh. in which Ball comes up on top. Well, you said it. I think with these spin shots and Yukiya Uda way behind the table, this ball stays low. Timo just breaking the rhythm there. Seven. And edges in front Eight. now, Ball. I like it when we hear him say Chosa. There's so many different varieties to Cho out there, from Chole to Chu, Chule, Chosa. Yeah. Top edge there oh. from Uda, from Bol, excuse me. Yeah, good placement on that serve. Uda leaving him in a very uncomfortable position. I mean, even if Timo makes that shot, where does he go with it? It's not easy to put it past Uda on that position, leaving the whole table open from that low. Eight, Great to see from nine. both Uda, now just in front. You know, we've got to hand it to Yukiya Uda. The quality of his loops right now are so powerful. Think about who Timo rallies with. He rallies with the best Chinese players, the best players in the world, relatively comfortably. And Uda right now, just so much pace on that forehand. Stop. Nine. Oh, this is oh. very tight at the business end of this Fourth game. And he Nine, marches ten. to match point. Oh, he didn't take it. Ten. Well, he tried to. Oh. The idea was there. He saw the opening. I mean, the planning was perfect. But it clips the top of the net. Udad started to turn. Timo knew. He said he's going to step around for the forehand. I'll go the other way. 10 all, we need a winner by two clear points now. Got it. And it's Uda. 10, 11, 10. Now with game point. Nice flick there to put the pressure on in the middle and it catches the top edge of the racket from Timo. Well, now we've got ourselves a match. Just in case you hadn't had enough of Timo Bull.
One, los. One, all. Want to hear something interesting? Go on. Okay, I will. In the decider, Yukiya Uda has won 60% of his 23 deciding game matches. Timo Bull has won 62%. Wow, nothing One, in it between them. Two. Not very, much, very just tight. 61. Yeah. 63 for Uda, 62 for Bull, right? 60 for Uda. Right on top of the bounce here. Wow. Uda punches it down the line. A good start. 20 years old, Yukiya Uda moves back into the table, plays smart to stay on top of the bounce, test the footwork of the evergreen 41-year-old Timo Magic Bowl. Tree. Little Two. gift. That's right. Even as a minimalist, that's the type of gift that you will always take. Tree. It's a full oh. open palm now, not just the finger. Three, four. This time the net works against him. Ball. Ah, regifting. Wow. Returning Five the favor. Three. That's right, there is no regifting. It, it's up there. Hold it. Because as you say, that's the only Six. that's probably three. the one thing you do control one hundred percent. Right. Exactly. You can always credit your opponent in some way. And then missing a serve, you could say, well, they've got a really strong receive, but as you mentioned, you get to control it, you're not reacting to them. Three. Seven. He came back from down 6-10 in game number three. Yeah. This is the decider. Same margin points-wise, but True. Uda's also four points away. So a little bit more chance for Timo here, but some big serves to come. Well, he's Four, picked one off. Seven. Yeah, this is a nice change. <laughs> Two in a row. Seven. Good work here from Paul. Well experienced in coaching, and Kazuhiro on the other side. Eight, five. Yeah. Yet they both have the same amount of control over the outcome of this match. Oh. Oh. Almost, five, almost that. Nine. And Uda now four ahead and two away from wrapping up this match. Huh. Match points Five, now for ten. Yukiya Uda. Oh, he's adjusted well, 11, and he's won it. Yukiya Uda, Uda battling Uda back. Wins.